Mohammed, the, the, the film, film that is now being made based on your story will have a counter effect uh, against the propaganda. I, I don't know the answer, but I do know that uh, people who made the movie made a very big effort, very big effort to tell both sides of the story. You know, because we we just want the, 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 the world to know what happened because when the CIA like to kidnap people and start torturing them, they fight the journalists, including the journalists. You know, people like with, uh, you know, values of uh, like openness, inclusiveness and so, and they give them unique access But that was very poisonous because they didn't, their spiegel did not come to me and talk to me because they were not allowed. But they talked to the CIA and they get the information about me through the military and the CIA very much. You know, and that's, I'm talking their spiegel because I respect their spiegel and I respect the Guardian. But when you feel you have unique access to those information, you think, You know everything, but you will only know something if you talk to the people who were tortured. And what I'm saying, when I was in prison for all of these 15 years, all the reporting were coming from the source of the government because I was not allowed to speak. So when I read it, I just get like this, oh my God, my heart drops when yeah. I read. How do they... How could they say something like that? And they never met me. They never speak to me. They have like this woven, fantastical stories about me in, in all kinds of magazines and so on. What I'm saying, I'm just talking about the narrative that the government is weaving because it's part of the war and control, that they have a narrative and they want that narrative to the gospel You know, this whole, like, the world, yeah. like, you know, black and white, the evil people and so. And I want to mention here Mohammed Gul, because Mohammed Gul did not survive to tell his story or to be in a movie or to write a book like I did. He died in the cold room I described in my book. You know, Dali War, Dali War died from the beating of the guard that I described that broke my ribs. He didn't get to tell his story. No one told his story. Right. And that's why I'm so adamant to tell the story of those who couldn't tell their story by telling my own story. So, so there was some information. Um, it, I, I think I caught what you said, which is that, uh, that, that you had your ribs broken. My, my goodness. Uh, as part of that uh, imprisonment process. And that was one of the things that was absent from, uh, from the film, even though you think that the film was done sensitively and, and did, they did eventually uh, be able to, they were eventually able to speak to you um, uh, directly for, for the production of that, of that movie. And just to jump in a little bit, of course we're talking about the, the film, the Mauritanian. Uh, yeah. It hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to see it, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Mohamedou, are you, are you still there? Yes, I am. Did you feel that there were important elements left out, uh, uh, as, as Matthew mentioned? I, uh, you know, this is a film, you know, and it's not a book. And you cannot put in film 70 days Space of sleeplessness that you cannot put in a movie because you will not have an actor who would be ready to stay 70 nights without sleep and they use different techniques and what the technique that I most remember in my head to this day is banging at my door and saying terrorists are not allowed to sleep And I never understand to this day what terrorism means and who is a terrorist and what's the exact definition of a terrorist and what is the crime of a terrorist. You know, this is something that uh, philosophically must not exist in a democracy. Democracy must not have terrorism as a crime. 
because it's bogus and it's used to oppress political dissent, you know, especially in my part of the world.